from Singapore, the F1 circus now travels to the main Japanese island of Honshu. After two years of absence, Formula One is back at the Suzuka International Racing Course, a high-speed circuit built by Honda. It has many subtle features and is a real challenge, especially in the rain. Straight from the off, it's vital to pick the right moment to break, as the very first corner provides a good opportunity to overtake. Continuing around the course, there are now several consecutive S-bends, which demand a huge amount of courage and precision. Perfect timing here is the key to your ultimate speed. Taking the ideal line, it's then into Dunlop Corner. The only Japanese driver ever to make it onto the podium here, by the way, was Aguri Suzuki in 1990, when he came in third. The only driver in 2009 with a home advantage is Kazuki Nakajima. A one-off on the race calendar, the only F1 circuit with an underpass and a bridge. The layout is thus like a figure eight. Racing along, we now approach the slowest spot on the circuit, the hairpin. The 5.8 kilometer course is very popular with the drivers as its demanding layout places greater value on driving quality than at many other tracks. Although the circuit's fairly narrow, there are a few good places to overtake, such as here in the Spoon. All drivers taking good speed with them out of the last corner are thus well set for a fast time in this sector. At over 300 kilometers per hour top speed, they shoot towards the legendary corner 130R. Push down hard on the throttle and onto the final chicane. Then it's hard across the curbs towards the start finish line and off onto the second for a total of 53 laps. <laughs> 